<coughs> it's hot. Right, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, old schoolers, and welcome back to another video. And today, we're going to be chatting about why you should care about the tech you're using. Why should you? Why should you care? Why the... Anyway, before we start, let's just quickly have a little look at our socials flying by here. We've got Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. To give us a follow on all of those, you can keep up to date with everything that we're doing, get to see some screenshots, fun stuff. We're gonna be putting some interesting artwork up on Instagram soon, so please do check that one out. And on Twitch, we go live every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and sometimes every other Thursday from about 7 till 10.30. And we do things such as stream support, community events in World of Warcraft, and PlayStation games on PS4, like different story-based games. So if any of those interest you, please do come on out. Let's have a chat, let's get to know each other better. But anyway, on with the video. So I'm gonna try and segment this bit into three main points that we're gonna talk about today. So yes, the three main points we're gonna be talking about today are why should you care about the tech you're using? Why I use the tech that I'm using? I do all these tutorials, but I don't fully explain what the purpose of me using them is. And finally, we're gonna be talking about what you should be spending your Twitch payouts on. So let's start with point number one, which is gonna be why you should care about the tech you're using. So there's many reasons why you should care about the tech that you're using, but we're gonna outline the three main things that you should care about, which is camera, lighting, and audio. And these are the three things that you should only ever care about when you're trying to think about upgrading and making your stream experience better. There's like a three main reasons as to why you should be doing this. And these include end user experience, self kind of like self respect and self image, and also professionalism. So when we break these down, if you haven't got good audio, if you haven't got a good camera, if you haven't got good lighting, the end user is gonna get the worst possible experience going. When someone wants to tune into a stream, into a live stream, people wanna see that they've put the effort in, they wanna see that they're being professional, and they wanna see that it looks like a professional live stream. A lot of people do hold everyone on the same level as people like, I don't know, like Alpha Gaming, Ninja, and all of those people. And although we can't replicate exactly what they're doing because we haven't got the same amount of income, we can do certain things that help us out to give us the illusion that we have more than what we have have kind of thing. So let's have a little chat first about our cameras. Camera is very, very important. If you've watched my previous videos, you know that I think having a camera is one of the core things that you need to have when you live stream. Showing care about the camera that you're purchasing, again, is a very, very, very important thing. Again, it's that whole self image and end user experience. You don't want people to be looking at your camera and seeing a pixelated view because that won't be very, very fun. Just like you also wouldn't want to do it yourself. If you are onto a stream with a really awful camera, you wouldn't like that. However, we don't have to be spending thousands and thousands of pounds on a really fancy camera. A a lot of people have webcams lying around their house or have a family member who's got a DSLR like this and we can use our different hacks and our cheap methods on how to make that look like a very, very professional camera, even though in reality, they're not. And that actually links to the third thing that we need to care about, which is lighting. With the correct lighting, you can have the best looking image. If I turn off all of my lights in here, if I turn them off when I'm live streaming as well, then the image significantly looks worse. And that rings true for any HD camera that you get, any small webcam that's 20, 30 quid. If you don't have the correct lighting, say we don't have a ring light on our face, say we don't have any backlighting, you're gonna notice a significant difference in your camera quality. And simple ways around this, even if you can't buy a ring light, I mean, they're about 10, 15 pound from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. But even like a small lamp or something, which is what I used when I first started streaming, just gives that diffused light on your face to separate you from the foreground and the background. The lighting and the camera help differentiate you into layers. Even if you don't have a fancy like Boku effect behind you making it all blurred, it's important to distinguish yourself from the background. So if you have a lamp that can go on your face, make sure that lamp is on your table. If it looks awful from your side, honestly, it doesn't matter. I used to sit with my laptop in front of me with my laptop webcam going with a lamp angled with the top facing towards me just so that that light would hit me in the best way and that was using a 12 pound lamp that was in my bedroom at the time so my bedroom went into darkness for a very long time but it's worth it because it makes the image quality significantly different and there's so many videos out there I'll put some links in the description where you can fake Boku effects you can green screen a blurred background if you even wanted to and then that adds additional layers and then you can see that there's a proper layering going on in your screen and that just helps emphasize the point of having the camera on you and there was more focus on you the streamer and when you're streaming the focus necessarily isn't actually on the gameplay it's on you as a person so you want you to be seen and you also want to be heard and this is going to be a thing that i just want to kind of say is care about your audio a lot of people will just listen to streams but there's a lot of people who just have streams on to listen and there's a lot of people who do just chatting and podcasts and such and you want your quality of your mic to sound decent but you don't have to spend money 
and this is something that we'll quickly touch on to why I use the tech that I do but you really want to care about your audio and you really want to make your mic sound as best as physically possible there's loads of fake equalizers that emulate this for you and this microphone doesn't sound as good as it sounds right now I won't be able to change the settings because I'll never get them back but this microphone does not sound like this in the slightest it's just got tons and tons of filters that give it that depth that deepness and that kind of podcasty kind of sound that you're looking for this is an important thing to focus on like i don't know if you guys have ever watched alpha gaming but he openly says and i've i know this myself through my own experience through filming that audio is key if you have bad audio no one's going to watch and this doesn't just mean your microphone quality this means your stream quality is your game too loud is your microphone too loud do you have the balances are you using noise gates are you using filters that adjust the audio level to when you're talking similar to kind of like how radio show hosts have their kind of thing and these are important things and they are things that you need to care about you need to care about that because at the end of the day it's not how you perceive the stream it's how your viewers perceive the stream if they come in and the camera is a blob and you've got no lights on your face so you're technically sat in darkness and you've got a mic that sounds like it's been run over five times they're not going to want to stay and as an end user that's not what you want obviously it differs depending on your career path with the streaming as a whole if you don't want this to be like your long-term goal if you just want this to be a hobby then obviously this doesn't apply as much but if you want to push this and you want this to be like a part-time full-time career you these are the three only three things as far as tech that you really really need to push and really home in because it's what like I said it's all about the end user it's all about your viewers and the people subscribing and following you right next I'm going to quickly touch on this one won't take too long but this is why I use the tech that I use so why do we use touch portals why do we use touch why do we use stream decks what is their purpose this is something that I think is very overlooked and I was even the same before I thought what's the point this would be one of the last items you ever want to purchase before you get your camera lighting and audio sorted but stream decks really do streamline things and instead of you fiddling there and grabbing your mouse and be like oh crap I've got to change this got to change that you can just do this on the fly and it's not just scene changing it's muting your mic it's changing your camera if you happen to have a two camera setup making markers for when you're doing your highlights at later uh, stage it's changing your audio it's sending out automatic messages onto your twitch there's so much potential in this app and in stream decks as a whole that make the purchasing of it so much worthwhile what i used to have the issue with was like changing transitions and changing scenes and everything was simply that when i was playing a pc game i'd have to tab out it would ruin the image it would some some games freeze when you tab out you'd slide across and then you'd change scene and there was it was slow it was it just it didn't feel smooth it didn't look professional and especially for some of the fancier touch portal things such as elgato stream decks you can push one button and it will do five things so you can change your scene you can then load your game and then you can load yourself in the corner rather than it all being an instant change and you can make things look more and more professional and then lastly voice meter why the hell do i use voice meter why did i do a tutorial on this voice meter gives you the control that you need if you're sat there and you're game audio needs to be prioritized but you still want your stream to listen to music you can do that you can turn off music in your headphones so that only the stream can hear it if you want to turn everything off and just talk to your friends but not have the stream hear it you can do that with a click of a button but i mentioned it earlier about the voice filters on here voice meter has a control where you can change the sound of your audio and how it sounds again when you put it into different sections on the graph it will change the bassiness the tinniness it will make it sound less echoed and it will give you that podcast effect and you can use this on any single mic the minute you plug a microphone in it appears on here and you can adjust the quality straight away and you'd be surprised the effect that this has on any microphone so i've seen it be working on standard headphone ones with the microphone there I've seen it working on snowballs, uh, blue yetis, this microphone, which is a cheap one, and even big professional microphones can use software such as voice meter to get that really crisp sounding audio. So yes, in short, getting yourself a voice meter is very, very beneficial and it will help out in the long run. You can control your audio, you can change the settings and the quality of the sound and it will sound significantly better. And then lastly, I just wanted to touch on what you should purchase and why you should purchase these th certain things with your first payout and this quote comes from alpha gaming but generally speaking you want to buy stuff that's going to make you money at the end of the day we'll quickly go over what exactly that means because it's quite a vague statement but basically is a keyboard screen or graphics card going to make you any money not really so when people say my microphone won't stay on its stand so i've got to hold it now when we're saying what's going to make you money it's got to be things that the end user is going to see so if you get a new camera they're going to see that if you get new lighting it's going to make it look better if you get a new microphone it's going to make it sound better however getting a graphics card a keyboard a new mouse a new headset a new screen the, the viewers aren't going to see any of that they're not going to see the effects of that if you've got a really fancy screen that's taking up 60 hertz and all this fancy 
your quality or you're doing a graphics card that's hitting 200 fps the stream won't see that you can only stream out at a certain level anyway you can only stream to a certain quality as it is so you've got to buy things that are going to be beneficial for your viewers obviously down the line you can get yourself a keyboard and a mouse and a new chair and all of that but until you've got your stream looking at exactly how you want it and as good as it can look to the end user and to the viewers then don't buy anything different so make sure you're buying things such as cameras webcams green screens lighting microphones audio software editing software in your system for when you're making videos always be thinking if i buy something how will it affect what my viewers will see and then in turn that will then make you money as the saying kind of goes it's going to be those type of things that will kind of make your viewing experience for your viewers all that much better anyway this has been quite a long video and there's been quite a few things that gone have gone wrong during this period of time so we're going to wrap it up there but if you've got this long thank you so much for watching we're going to be doing a video in the next couple of weeks where we address things that are holding streamers back so if there's anything holding you back from streaming put a comment below and you'll be able to be featured in the video and i'll answer your question on that sh on that video but anyway all of our socials are flying by here twitter facebook instagram twitch and youtube give them all a follow like comment all of that jazz on all of those we go live on twitch every sunday tuesday wednesday and sometimes every other thursday from 7 till 10 30 doing stream support playing world of warcraft doing community events and playing soy based games on playstation 4 they're pretty fun i like them hopefully you do too but until then catch you guys very very soon take care see you in the next video bye bye